Go. Hey, hey, so welcome back to our show, A Year of Material Learning. Today we have book 45. So you want to tell us what book 45 is, Chris? Yeah, uh, book 45. It's uh, interesting. It's a small, short little book. It's called, uh, it's called Rules for a Night by uh, Ethan Hawke. You know the actor, Ethan Hawke? Do you know who he is? I know who he is, yes. Yeah. Uh, the, um, so the book's about um, uh, this... Um, I, I can't remember the exact story behind this, but I think there was somehow like Ethan Hawke's family found like some like letter, um, you know, from some guy in his family that he had wrote to somebody else and uh, like to his children and um, and they pass it down from like generation to generation or whatever. And he decided to turn it into a book. That's I think that's what the, the genesis of this book was from. But, but mm -hmm. long, long story short, it was um, uh, it's this uh, long form letter um, from this guy named uh, Thomas. Sir Thomas Lemuel Hawk that, uh -huh. that he wrote to his uh, four children. So he was a, a knight heading off to war, and he was fearing not returning from battle. So he wrote a children or a letter to his children to um, you know kind of write down the records of you know what what uh, you know what he values in life and and you know his so, his. So um, he's an ancestor of Ethan. Su supposedly, that was that okay. was the that's the supposed story. I don't know if it's a fictional thing or if he you okay. know or what, but I mean that's uh that's that's the the gist of it i guess uh but uh my uh my personal reflection I'm, i'll go ahead and share my screen here um, okay and while i'm doing that i'm gonna make sure that little guy is okay he's right at my foot perfect um yeah. uh so um my 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 personal reflection was you know words are a great compass but values are, are really um uh, <laughs> but the values and how to be night can only be learned through experience so this is what i mean by this um is uh it, it was a fun short story and it was cool to hear like you know i often think about um you know myself passing you hear little luca screaming in the background mm -hmm. I, I you know and amelia and like and i off, i often think about like you know what do i want to pass down to my children and you know the year of magical learning is is something i'm excited to pass down to them someday you know where they can read you know their dad's journey after you know how how his my my daughter you know changed my life and you know and then all the other you know how amazing she was and and the and the quest that she kind of you know started and and our mission personally and <laughs> you know they can they can hear all of my values and they can read this whole story i mean these are this is kind of my own rules for a night i guess if you will in a, in some way shape or form you know someday i'm excited for luca and my other you know future children to be able to read this and and you know hear about their their sister and that's why i wrote you know i can't imagine but at the end of the day you know uh uh I, 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 you and I have had this question and this is what I, this is what I was pondering when I wrote this one is like, if you could go back in time and tell your 20 year old self or your 10 year old self, or it, just some, at some point in time in the past self, like, you know, all the, some very important lessons of, of where you are today and what you know today and, and uh, um, you know, advice you would give yourself in the, in the past, you know, I, I, this is kind of where my thought was going when I was thinking about this, you know, mm -hmm. this, this, this night is writing this, you know, passing down all of his thoughts and learnings and, and everything that he, you know, experienced in his life to his children. And, um, you know, I, and I always keep coming back to this. I know, and I'm, I'm excited to get your thoughts on this and, and to get this recorded out there for the world. But like, I, I personally have played this mental experiment in my head, you know, many, many times in many different ways. And I think without a doubt, I can safely say that, that there's nothing that I could have told my 20 year old self, uh, that, that, would have made an impact or advice that I would have actually, you know, taken into heart. And I say that like lovingly, not thinking that I would have ever, you know, wouldn't have listened or wouldn't have gone, Oh, that, that's really interesting. Or like, mm -hmm. you know, tried to ruminate on it. But the truth is, is like ideas and beliefs and thoughts of, you know, of uh, the, who goes into what our identity is can only be garnered through life experiences and, and learning and growing and doing that yourself. Like that is, that is how you learn and grow. It is not by somebody telling you something. It isn't by writing, you know, these rules for a night to, you know, for, for your children and your children's children and your grandchildren and your great grandchildren, like all these words are great, but really like, you know, someday Luca and, you know, uh, my other future children and, and Amelia, you know, smiling down from heaven, like she's, she, they have to live their own life. They have to, they have to develop their own rules. You know, they have to like, they, I, I it's great to have these words and to give them, you know, like a connection to me maybe, um, and to maybe understand, you know, their dad's life, um, a little bit, but, but, you know, for me personally, I don't, I don't think that there's any substitute, you know, um, for, uh, um, 
lived experiences versus the words out there, which is why I wrote the title of, you know, words are a great compass. Like it's great to hear words and to, and to guide you, but, but the values are really the only way you can ever, you know, become a knight, I guess myself and, you know, in my, in my view um, these days. So that, that's kind of where my head's at um, uh, overall. And, mm -hmm. and, and, you know, yeah, I'd love to get your thoughts. What do you, what do you, what, how do you feel? I mean, I think I, I, I agree with you. I think, so for me, the way I look at it is uh, human are a collection of memories and experiences. To me, word, it's just like, okay, there's a generation. Words are like the tip of the iceberg. Right. But the meaning right. is what's submerged under the water. Exactly. And so you can say, you know, look over there, do this, do this thing. It gives you it gives you a reference point, but you don't understand and fathom the meaning of it until you actually experience it. Because that's to me that's how I see human humanity is being uh, put together. That's the makeup of humanity. We are what we remember. We are our experiences, right? We can yeah. use somebody's word to kind of guide us in some general directions but we don't really understand what it means to be a knight until we become a knight we don't exactly. experience the atomic bomb until we become atomic bomb I, I don't think i don't think we can we can understand more than like i say whatever the tip of the iceberg maybe 10 percent. the rest of them you have to experience yourself i i couldn't agree more i i love the way you just said that actually with you know meaning can't be like you know meaning is different than than exactly like me meaning is all that matters you know like i mean that that is that that's uh, i i mean i i think you i you summed it up great like i wish i would have written meaning in there you know like a uh -huh. purpose or meaning or whatever like they're like the the you're right like the meaning is all this is the, the roots you know is, is all the stuff that's underneath the glacier and and uh and yeah you just see the it's like when we see all these little, uh, you and I talk about this all the time, you know, like with like the Adam Grants of the world and Simon Sinex and, and you see like these tiny little blurbs they put on Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook every single day and people, you know, thousands and thousands of likes and people are like, oh yeah, I really agree with that. That doesn't do anything. Like, yeah, what, like, what does it mean? It, it, He's like, it's, eh. it's, it's, it's a thought <laughs> like, you know, great. Thanks for sharing your thought. But like, that's not like it, it might it might influence somebody to want to be curious and maybe to go mm -hmm. learn themselves or something like that but at the end of the day like like that thought that 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 you share with me or that adam grant shares with me like that doesn't that doesn't it's not a, it's not a part of it doesn't go into my identity you know like that doesn't go into yes it doesn't like, mean anything until you actually experience it exactly right? until you go, and until it doesn't you go save to your collections of memories right until you experience it and like I say, we are what we remember. We are a collection of memories. Right. So I think I'd say, well, so have I officially, you know, I, I know you, you've been, you've been rattling this question around, you know, like what, if you were going back to your 20 year old self is, so do you think there's anything you can tell your 20 year old self today? I know you've been debating, but I'd love to get your I've thoughts on that. I've been debating it. And, uh, yeah. and one of the things that I, 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 I want to tell myself, and I think this is going to set me free. Because I think my biggest challenge would be, uh, and I'll tell you that later. So what I want, if I can go back and tell my younger self is we don't know shit and neither did anybody else. Right. Don't base your decisions on their experiences, their advice, whatever. Take it and make decisions for yourself. Use it as a compass, but don't use it as a, a the mantra or the you know, the, 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 the path to take. And to me, 90% of what I become today and some of the things that I've become is because I'm struggling with, with these things. And people are telling me what to do from society to the people that you look up to, whether that's teachers, professors, parents, or whatever. It is your life. They have some experience and they can tell you to get, give you a general direction, but they can't really experience this can give you the experience that they give you. You have to experience yourself. So your decisions must be yours and make sure that it's compatible with you. So to me, that is something I would tell my younger self. That, I, I love that. I, it's, it's really funny. I was, um, I was actually writing about this this morning. Um, uh, the book that I, was, that I was writing the reflection for was How to Win Friends and Influence People, which mm -hmm. I'm not going to spoil the, the, the reflection, but that's you know hundreds of 100 plus books down the road from, from where we're at right now. But um, the, 
it was very similar of like, you know, you can win friends like by, by listening to them and talking to them and, and, and hearing their story and like, but you cannot ever influence anyone. Like influence is different influence. You have to be like immersed in that. Like they have to believe like they, they, well, they have to be to accept, ingrained. They have to assimilate right. the ideas that you give them. And, and, and that's how the, has how the influence. And right. there's some people that I think it's more easily influenced and then some people aren't. Like, for example, for me, I'm more influenced, my influenceable, um, you know, when I was younger, but now I'm not, right? right. Now I'm going to say, well, I don't know. I don't have any evidence. I don't see it. I still don't understand it. Before I just take it without questioning the inner workings or whatever, without understanding it, I will be convinced. And so when I become more and more, I guess, knowledgeable, I use that knowledge and say, okay, does this, does this make sense to me? If it doesn't make sense, I'm not convinced. Whether I'm right or wrong, I'm still not convinced because I'm, I don't understand it. Maybe because I'm not smart enough to understand it, but still I'm not convinced. But regardless, right. if you're right, if I don't understand it, I'm still not c- be convinced. And so that's the stand I would take. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I like I. <laughs> it's just really funny because I. I mean, I. I've told you this before in the past, and and I'm I'm really spoiling my my reflection on this one. But like you know, man, I love arguing. Like I mean, like it is like it like feeds my soul. Like you know, like it. it, it it's uh, it's been something since I was a little kid that like you know I'm that I'm like I don't like to argue to like to like make somebody mad. I just like to uh-huh. argue to engage like my like my brain to get myself fired up to get engaged you know into into the it just it gets it it's i don't i don't care what the position is i'm even taking i just love like the the battle the 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 let's 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 go toe to toe and see you know who comes out (laughs) of this thing you know like for me like that was that's always the fun of of arguing for me but at the end of the day like i've never as in the hundreds and thousands of arguments that i've had over the course of my life that i've done for fun like there's never been a single time that I've ever walked away from an argument that, that, that I either changed my mind or that I changed somebody else's mind. I may have felt like I made a few blows or something like that, or like, you know, uh-huh. whatever, but, but like no way in hell did, did any of those arguments have any impact on, 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 on how I went about and lived my life afterwards. So right. like, if there's, there's just nothing that you can do to change, you know, people's, uh, um, uh, they can't be a knight until they're a knight. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right. <laughs> you, can't, you can't have a knight, you know, you can't learn from another knight. You have to become your own knight, you know? Right. And, uh, right. and that's what I want for, for Luca and for Amelia, and for all my other children to right. come in the future. And I'm sure that's what you want for your kids is that you become mm-hmm. their own knight, you know, like, and, mm-hmm. and live their own life and have their own values and meaning and purpose. And, uh, and, you know, yeah, it'd be cool to refer back to dad's journey or whatever, like, you know, and I'm, I'm happy to, to share this journey with them, to, to have them feel like there's a kindred spirit along this, 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 this quest, but like, but, but their journey is their journey. And that's that. Right. You know? <laughs> like, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, I know we're uh, at time and, and we're doing the anti book club right now. So um, let's, uh, let's wrap today with, um, you know, the question for everybody is what are your rules to be night that you've discovered on your own journey so far and uh, you know, share it in the comments yeah. and um, yeah. And yeah look so before we go, I, I would like to, uh, to add something because of the story that Ethan Hawke is telling. Uh, I've learned something from TikTok uh, that if you, uh, it's something cool that if you, uh, when, when you, you, when you have a, a young kid, a baby is born, you make an email uh, for him or her, and then you would actually write to him or her every day until she, he or he's 18. And then you will send that your your kid uh, the the user and the, the email and password so that they can see throughout their their you know Very their cool. growing years what what you send them. That's I awesome. think that's that's a great. I think that would be a great eighteen uh, year old birthday present. That's awesome. I love it. Yeah. yeah. All right. we, you know, we need to talk more about that because uh, I feel like that's a business as well. <laughs> uh, <you know. laughs> but, uh, but I mentioned it because you have, you have Luca, right? Luca yeah. there and, and with the, with a book that like, like, like this book, right? It's from, uh, you know, Ethan's ancestor writing right, to right. something at, and it reminds me of that. Yep. Yeah. No, that, I love that. That's awesome. Uh, well, All very right. cool. All right. Well, thanks we'll everyone for joining. See you next time. Yeah. Bye.